Good afternoon, Bob Burnside with Fireside Home Construction and another Fireside Chat. We're at our meadow retreat again. I want to show you the progress that we've been making. Uh, I believe we're now on day 20 of our construction cycle, starting with a green meadow as you see here. We've done all the excavating, the building, the framing, the windows and doors are in. All the roofing and shingles are in place. You can see all the uh, mortar and sand and brick are here. Steel lintels laying there which have been carefully primed so that when they show up underneath the brick above the windows that they'll be almost a match to the color of the brick. All those details, all the details. Uh, we've talked before about the careful sealing of the windows in terms of flashing all installed shingle style and you can see the roof is all in place up above. So as soon as the brick is done in the next week or so we'll be ready to get right into siding and uh, I'll go inside in a minute but uh, a few details outside. Very important we put our brick in that we flash it correctly so the first two rows of brick go in and then this black flashing material you see here goes on the wall it's all tucked up underneath the tie back and tape so that again it's all shingle style you can see the little weeps there the little weeps in the brick so that any moisture that gets behind there has a place to come out and the first two rows are uh, mortared and grouted solid uh, not only the bricks themselves but uh, the holes in the bricks but down behind and then above that you can see we've put pea stone in here uh, behind the wheat vent so if there is any moisture it's got a way to get to those vents which are every 32 inches and then out, out the water would come. Don't expect any water in there but uh, the brick will be uh, carefully sealed up against the windows and caulked with a very very durable and long lasting polyurethane caulk. Um, you notice up above the foam insulation there's one inch of foam on the outside there up above the Tyvek and that goes uh, all the way up above the soffit area and the inside of that will be be foamed so that we don't have any issues with insulation there. Moving in the building, all the doors have been carefully installed. All the wiring is in place, carefully placed just the way the homeowner wanted it, centered between the windows. I also notice details like every gap where the uh, windows meet the framing, the nice gap there which we'll be able to fill with foam insulation, low expansion foam that is, and then all the walls will be filled with uh, half pound spray foam as well as the ceiling special vents up there to vent this roof underneath so that the um, air can vent from the soffit to the peak of the roof and this whole ceiling will be covered those before they're finished. All LED lights in this building, those are Cree uh, recessed lighting cans and they'll have Cree LR6 uh, LED bulbs in them. All the electrical services in place, all the wiring's been done and inspected. And we're ready for the furnace over here in this corner, all that ductwork is under the floor gas line is installed. Again, the details, it's all got to be figured out and planned in advance. Here's the fireplace, carefully framed opening where the vent will go through the wall and uh, all ready for cultured stone and limestone sill. So long story short, we've been very, very busy. The project is going great. Again, only 20 working days since we began. We're very proud of our uh, all of our people and where we are. So uh, stay tuned. We'll give you an update next time. Uh, we'll be in the drywall next week, and I'll be talking to you soon. So give us a call if we can help you with any new building or remodeling needs. Have a great day, and thanks so much. Bye.